Forces in Tigray claim to have completely destroyed an Ethiopian army division, while the government says many Tigrayan soldiers are surrendering. This is a conflict where claims are difficult to verify. But what can be said is that tens of thousands of civilians have been forced to flee and global powers are increasingly expressing alarm. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's troops have made advances since the violence began three weeks ago, but the local TPLF says they're keeping federal forces at bay. Spokesman Getachu Radar told Tigray TV that a prestigious army unit that he called the 21st Mechanized Division was destroyed in an assault at Raya Wajarat. The Prime Minister's spokeswoman said that was not true. Meanwhile, Tigray's capital, Mekele, has been reportedly surrounded by Ethiopian tanks and artillery. But that claim is disputed by the TPLF, which says the National Army is regrouping after several defeats. Abiy is threatening a final assault on Mekele if the TPLF does not lay down its arms by Wednesday. Government spokesman Redwan Hussein. The beginning of uh, the end is within reach, um, and that our defence forces have now effectively encircled Makali uh, and now uh, it is easy to, to target any um, military installations which are hidden um, in any places. That's prompted alarm from the UN's human rights chief Michel Bachelet who's called on all sides to spare civilians in line with international law. The conflict, which has sent tens of thousands into Sudan, has also spread to Eritrea, where the TPLF has fired rockets, and affected Somalia, where Ethiopia has disarmed several hundred Tigrayans serving in a peacekeeping force. A number of international powers have urged restraint, including the United States, which on Monday said it supported African Union mediation efforts to end this tragic conflict now.